real benefit of CFBLNet is it allows NATO, CCB and the United States to test the interoperability of our systems. We are currently operating in coalition environments and for us to do that effectively and support the warfighter, it is imperative that our systems are interoperable with each other. I need air support immediately. Over. Still 554 East. Report missile launch. Uh, the Combined Federated Battle Laboratories Network is, as it says, a federated infrastructure. No country owns it specifically or you know, owns and operates it exclusively. The CCEB, NATO and the U.S. are partners in this and there is nothing, nothing like it within or between any of our nations. We have 268 sites in 14 nations and NATO and all of these sites are secure and security cross-certified, which is the key aspect of what CFBLNet provides. All of our nation's accreditors have agreed that the implementations of security and protection mechanisms on there support each other's requirements for security to support the initiatives. We have in CFBLNet a global and secure information sharing infrastructure of great value to the nations and the coalition partners and uh, it's being used to uh, verify and detect inconsistencies in existing and uh, future capabilities. Uh, so we want to use that capability to secure a proper transition into the future. The main benefit of the CFBLNet is that the whole basic accreditation the whole basic network infrastructure that is all being taken care of outside CWIX. All we need to do is say, look, we're going to run CWIX again this year. We want the CWIX enclave to be stood up for uh, two months, and magic happens. They declare themselves, and we have the network environment. CFBLNet provides a very flexible, secure environment which is uh, different from the operational networks. So it enables a clear separation between the operations and the test and the training environment. So in terms of uh, flexibility and in terms of safety, these are very valuable characteristics.